What method of integration will be used if different genres of functions are multiplied? There are enough ways to solve the problem. How would you integrate if a product of algebraic and trigonometric function is given? What method do you think you will use if the product of logarithm and algebraic function is given? For such sort of integration, we use the method of integration by parts. Continue watching to know the rule with proof. If u and v are two functions of x, then d by dx of uv is equal to u into dv upon dx plus v into du upon dx implies that u into dv upon dx is equal to d by dx of uv minus v du upon dx. Integrating both sides with respect to x, integral of u into dv upon dx dx is equal to uv minus integral of v into du upon dx dx. Let u is equal to f1 of x and du upon dx is equal to f1 dash of x. dv by dx is equal to f2 of x. Therefore, integral of f2 of x dx is equal to v. Hence, equation becomes integral of f1 of x into f2 of x dx is equal to f1 of x integral of f2 of x dx minus integral of in brackets f1 dash of x integral of f2 of x dx dx. In words, this rule of integration by parts can be stated as integral of the product of two functions is equal to first function into integral of second function minus integral of derivative of first function into integral of second function. In finding integral by this method, choice of first and second function is essential. In this, the eyelet rule is helpful in the choice of functions first and second. If two functions of different types take the function as first, which comes first in the word eyelet, where I stands for inverse circular function, L stands for logarithmic function, A stands for algebraic function, T stands for trigonometric function, E stands for exponential function. If both the functions are trigonometrical, take the function as second whose integral is simpler. If both the functions are algebraic, take the function as first whose derivative is simpler. Unity may be taken as one of the functions. To summarize, in this video we have learned to find the proof of integration by parts and also the eyelet rule associated with this integration. This method has got ample applications, but we need more practice in it for sure. Watch our upcoming videos on integrals to learn more of such interesting things. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.